Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes. And this time we're gonna be making what I'm calling a double fan fold incline ice dye, the sunburst. The shirt has been turned inside out and folded in half. I'm using a washable marker to create a half circle that I'm going to fan fold up, which is going to create my pattern. I'm using kite string to secure my folds. I'm using washable markers to mark out the pattern on my shirt.
I want to point out that it's a good idea to use a new spoon for every pot of dye. You do not want to cross contaminate. I also reuse my spoons. I rinse them very well in the sink and then I just put them in the dishwasher and when they're dry, I reuse them. Now that all the dye is on the shirt, I'm just going to give it a quick sprinkle of some extra soda ash, just for good measure. I've put it inside this tote with one end resting on the edge of it. This is what's going to give it the incline. Once I have it packed full of ice, I'm going to let the ice melt. Once the ice is melted, I'm going to let it batch for 48 hours and then we'll come back and we'll do the rinse out. Now it's time for the rinse out. I always start by using cold water just in case there's any soda ash left in the shirt. Then I gradually increase up to hot water. From here, it's gonna go into the washing machine on a hot water cycle. Next, I'll use a hot water cycle using textile detergent. And then I'll finish up with another hot water cycle using Millsoft to bring softness back to the shirt. And then I'll dry it and we'll come back and see the results. So here's our shirt after it's been washed and dried. And for only using three colors, we sure do have a lot going on here. I think it turned out really cool. What do you think? Go ahead and leave me some comments down below. Thanks for watching my tutorial and I hope you found it helpful. If you're enjoying what you're watching, Please subscribe to my new growing channel, give me a thumbs up, and click the bell for future notifications when I upload another one. Happy tie-dyeing, and thanks again for watching.